Hey friends, how are you? It is Christine and welcome to today's haul video. I know I've been recording in my bedroom a lot for these little chatty videos, but that's because my kids and my husband have been home at my house for like three or four months. They've been home from school, they've been home from work, not home from work, working from home or whatever, and they're around all the time. And so if I wanna record something that's quiet, I have to run away from them. <laughs> this room just makes the most sense and like, my white comforter just looks so, so nice as a background, so I just figured, why not? Welcome to my bedroom, and we're gonna talk about one of the worst hauls I've ever gotten. Even while I'm recording, they're yelling outside my bedroom door. <laughs> Kids, they're the best. Let me give you a little bit of backstory about what happened here. So sometimes Under Armour will send out a 40% off code, good off your entire order, off of anything on their website, including the outlet. I've purchased a few things in the past from them, although very selectively, maybe one or two things, but not much more than that. And so this time I'm like, oh my gosh, Dave, we could, we could get the kids stuff for back to school. We can get some new running gear. It'll be perfect. And he's like, yes, let's load up that cart. So I spent a few days going through everything. The kids' shoes were about $50 in the outlet, so with the 40% off, they came to just under $30, and I thought that was fairly good for an Under Armour shoe for my bigger boys. They don't wear kids' size shoes anymore. Andrew's in adult men's shoe sizes, and I can't get the $10 pairs of shoes anymore, ever. And also, if you have boys, what? the heck is up with them ripping their shoes to shreds in like three months. Haley doesn't do that. All three of my boys do that. I can't even pass shoes down now. I'm like, Andrew, how did you get a hole where your pinky toe is? I don't get it. I got some volleyball shorts for Haley because she plays volleyball and she's growing into a woman-sized person now, so they're all too small for her. I got some new running gear for me, some leggings, a sports bra. You guys have, will have probably already seen my negative review on the Under Armour High Impact Sports Bra that I got, but let me show you what I got and why I'm frustrated with Under Armour. If you can't tell, this video is not sponsored, unless you wanna say that it's sponsored by myself because I bought everything myself and nobody paid me any money to say any of these things. First, let's talk about the shoes because those were pretty good. Here are Tyler's new shoes. I like them actually. They're bright colored, they're cute, they look pretty good. The only negative side, and I find this with a lot of kids shoes, is that the soles are crap. This white section, this is foam. What the heck are they gonna do with that? This rubber, adult shoes are made with rubber across the entire sole, but adults are less hard on their shoes than kids are. So why aren't they full rubber sold? Because it's cheaper. Because it's cheaper. So I'm just not really happy with that. That being said, let me show you Ryan's new shoes. Okay, Ryan's shoes. They're red, because he loves red. These do have a full rubber sole. I don't know why they're different. They, they were the same price. I think these may have even been cheaper. But when I saw the full rubber sole, I was like, yes, these are going to last longer. These are a better quality shoe than the other pieces of crap. I don't think Tyler's are gonna last longer than about four months, although these, depending on how quickly his feet grow, because dang, if these kids are not growing out of their stuff, left and right, it's blowing my mind right now. It's like all three of my boys all got into a growth spurt at the same time. So those look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with those. So if you're looking for kids shoes that are gonna last longer than a couple of months for your boys, look for a full rubber sole. They will probably cost more up front, but they'll last longer. Now let's get into the rest. I don't even know what to start with here. Let's start with the running shorts. I wanted to some updated running shorts. I don't like the super tight ones because <laughs> they don't fit right. And even though they all say, don't ride up, lies. They're all lies. You sit on a throne of lies. And I do carry most of my body fat in my thighs. And so they always like, bulge my fat on my thighs and they're just not very flattering. I don't feel confident. They ride up even though they say they won't. And I don't know, they just don't feel good. I'm a fan of the baggy running shorts. So this is actually the one pair out of the three that I got that I might potentially keep maybe. I haven't bought new running shorts in over six years because they all suck. These are okay. They're okay. They have the little briefs inside, which I really like because they help them from riding up and they're short and loose on the leg, which I like. I don't want anything sucking in my leg when I'm running. I just want to be like comfortable and free and whatever. So those are pretty good. I thought these were so cute. 
Like they were kind of more modern. They had a pocket at the back for my chapstick. Uh, they have the briefs on the inside. They come in cute colors. They had this huge pocket in the front that's waterproof for your phone. Hello. And I got one in orange and one in blue. I like fun colors. I just thought they would be so cute. And I got size smalls in all of these. Here are the orange ones, you know, with like a navy blue or a black top or something super cute. Here's one of my complaints under armor. Why is the sizing so inconsistent? These are a size small and fit. These are a size small, too tight. These are a size small, too tight. And I'll get into more of the sizing stuff when we get into the leggings. Like it's a different style. This is a different style, but I should be a small across the board, but in these, I would have to get a medium. I would have to. So I'm just frustrated, <laughs> disappointed, very disappointed. I got two tank tops, this blue one, um, which I actually love the color. I love the color a lot. Um, it's just an easy tank top. Why is it so dang short? I put this on and it barely, barely hits my midriff. So that was unfortunate. I don't know, like it's not a crop but it's like it's trying to be a crop, but it didn't quite succeed. It's a half crop. And because I'm tall in the torso, maybe that's my own personal issue and it would fit regular people and I'm not regular people. <laughs> okay, and this navy blue tank top, which I swore I did not buy a navy blue. I thought it was black. I actually liked this one. It was a little baggy in the waist, but I think that's fine. Cute, easy back, a little more fitted in the waist and longer. So this one fit better overall. Still, it's very like see-through and cheap for what I think was $20 for a tank top. So I don't know, it's really nothing special here. Just a little, just a tank top. Next up, let's talk the volleyball shorts. Um, I got two pairs, both in a size small, I believe for Haley. They're very, very thick here at the waistline. And I think I got four inch inseam. I can't tell. I think I got the four inch inseam because she doesn't like them going up her butt. So here's the thing. If you have a, a daughter that plays volleyball, she is not a fan of these Under Armour shorts. She says they ride up her butt all the time. She says her Nike ones don't do that. And this really cheap off brand pair I got from an athletic store, just like the store brand, don't do that. But she's like the Under Armour, like it's the fabric is so thin and slippery that it just like rides up her butt. So she's like, please don't buy me Under Armour shorts anymore. They are not comfortable. The Nikes fit better. So both of those are going back. Also for volleyball, in case you guys didn't know, when it comes to the knee pads, like volleyball knee pads, do not get any brand other than Mizuno. I will link below Haley's favorite knee pads. They fit really well, they last forever, and Haley's played defensive, like libero position, and she would always rip her knee pads into shreds within two months. The Nike ones, in a month, the Under Armour ones in a month, the Mizunos are the best ones. I can't find them in any of my stores locally, but Amazon carries them. They are fantastic. And just go by their sizing chart, measure their knee with a tape measure and the sizing is perfect. So that's my recommendation for your girls that play volleyball. Get the Mizuno knee pads, you cannot go wrong, and the Nike shorts, not the Under Armour shorts. Okay, let's talk about something that was good. I picked up these slides for Haley for volleyball because she doesn't wear her court shoes anywhere, but on the court and she wears like slides or jandals is what they call them with her socks on like to and from the gym and her court shoes stay in her back until she's inside. So these are like from the car to the gym, from the gym back to the car. So we got these Under Armour slides for her. They're a, a women's, I think they're a women's nine or a men's seven and a half or eight or something like that. Got them in red and white because those are her school colors. Um, but she loves them. They, she says they're super comfy, perfect for what she needs. If you have a kid that plays sports and they wear shoes that can only be worn at that point, get them a pair of slides. They are going to need it. Not flip-flops because they're wearing socks. Last but not least, let's talk leggings and pants. I picked up two pairs of leggings and one pair of joggers and I have two complaints. But before I talk about those, I'm just gonna say Dave also looked for things for him and he couldn't find anything he liked. So we ended up not getting him anything. So I have three pairs of leggings. The pair I'm wearing right now, which I'll show you right now, um, are the only ones that fit. All of these leggings are size small. So I find the sizing incredibly inconsistent and the ones I'm wearing are really the only ones worth anything. Um, this other pair, they are so cute. These are specifically for running. These are also a size small and are too small. So I'm gonna try and exchange these for a medium. But aside from them being like really, really snug, 
they are wicked cute they're a little on the thin side for what i prefer to wear for leggings i prefer leggings that like suck me in a little bit it doesn't make you feel good about yourself when you try and wear your regular size and they don't fit like you can barely get them over your hips the joggers i got look so cute online like in the picture online these are also a size small and are too big the cut of these is horrendous i have other pairs of joggers the fabric is so thin the seaming is weird there were like gaps in certain parts of the fabric they don't fit well they're not flattering they're not high quality and the sizing is still off and i know like most girls have cellulite there's something wrong with that but i don't want to wear a pant that accentuates it <laughs> And in these, I was like, oh my gosh, I have cellulite all over my butt. I don't feel comfortable in these pants. I would like to hide it a little bit. I mean, come on. Three pairs of pants, all in the same size. Size small, too small. Size small, the ones I'm wearing, fit. Size small, fits like a medium. Super, super inconsistent. So of all of the things that we got here, what are we keeping? The two tennis shoes and the slides. Everything else is going back. I am saddened today. You know, I appreciate the convenience of online shopping, but sometimes when you have this, this many things that don't work, it really makes you frustrated with online shopping. There's a reason I like going into the store and trying the clothes on because I could have taken 20 things into a dressing room and come out with two and only kept the two. But now I need to like box them back up and mail them back and I'm lazy. That's gonna wrap up my very, very sad haul. I am very disappointed in the quality and what I got from Under Armour, like big time. Tell me, are you guys Under Armour fans? I haven't bought their stuff in a really, really long time and I, I might not buy their stuff again for a really really long time it's just meh for me and that's coming from an athlete who is looking for like real performance and i just didn't find it in most of the stuff here it was a bummer but like always thank you for joining me in this negative review of under armor and what i bought sometimes it just doesn't work and that's okay i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video